Hello guys, welcome to Security Related vs Blue Team channel. In today's session, we'll discuss on SQL injection practicals. SQL injection theory part has been already covered in the previous video. The link is in the comment. Please do check before coming to this practical section. So in this video, we'll be covering um, uh, the manual steps as well as the, um, uh, the command line steps, um, how to uh, perform an SQL injection using the tools that is already available and also the manual steps. So and, and also the, um, the links that is covered in this video are uh, are no longer been working and the, um, as this used to be working before and not working now and the actual uh, link for the testing uh, SQL injection would be provided in the comment section so that is um, purely um, for testing purpose only and and the website is designed only for the testing purpose so there we can perform our SQL injection attacks so here what we need to do is whenever we get a login prompt try to execute one um, single code or uh, one equals to one so it basically what we are assuming is like the backend application has a, a formula in such a query in such a way that the username is equal to uh, something within the single quotes and password is equal to something within the single quote so what we are trying to do is we are trying to um, pass the input as um, one one quotation um, or one equals to one so basically we are saying username is equal to one or the boolean statement one is equal to one so it means that the username will definitely uh, won't be one so in, in other case the one is equal to one so one of the statement is true then it allows the user to log in so in this case execute this in terms in place of both username and password fields if the target web application is vulnerable to SQL injection it gives the access to the page so this can be tested with the uh, the test link uh, test website that is provided in the comment section of the URL. Now, if you look at the manual steps, finding out the vulnerable page in the Google uh, with the Google Docs, just search with the PHP ID uh, PHP question mark ID equals along with your favorite keywords in the internet to find out the vulnerable website. So here we can see some of the samples that we are, examples that we have received when we search this. So what we need to do is enter single quote. To test the SQL injection vulnerability. If you get an error or content miss in the web page, then it means that the website is vulnerable to SQL injection attack. Then uh, it's our target. Then what we can do is first we need to find out how many tables are present. So to do that, we need to open uh, this order by one. So in case if in our case the URL is like the um, laureate.edu.pk slash contents.php uh, question mark id is equal to six. So this is the actual URL. So what we need to do is do order by one minus minus i mean we're just commenting at the later part so we're just trying out how many tables are present so to do the how many uh, entries are present in the db so to do that we need to uh, manually enter one by one so first we need to do um, order by one if we don't get anything then go for the next step order by two so you have to keep doing until until you get um, error on the page so until you get error and sometimes you can't get error even for the large numbers like thousand so uh, that time what we need to do we need to add a quotation at the starting of the SQL command itself and then start with the command like plus so both both should work um, so if, if you follow this with these two methods so one um, at one stage um, it will stop um, uh, it will stop giving uh, it, it starts giving the same error so now what you need to do um, let's say if you get an um, error at 11 times then you have to um, then you have 10 columns if you get an error an error at 8 it means that you have 7 columns then you need to place the order by with uh, union select so what we need to do union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so it means that we have got an error at the 8th stage um, So we need to do um, uh, till that number uh, give a union select then <clears throat> then we'll get we'll get we'll, uh, we'll get an empty page now if you try to um, pass something like a database version uh, in any of these numbers one two three four five six in, within these number ranges then we can see the version will be what what version of the uh, they're using so we, here we can clearly see that 5.5.32 iphone cll iphone llvv iPhone LV. So this is the version they are using. Similarly, um, you, you you can pass this um, at any place. It need, need not be version. Even we can pass the user as well. What is the username? So here we can see that um, here we have seen uh, we have passed um, uh, uh, minus six. It, it need not be minus six. Sometimes sometimes it will work with uh, just uh, plus six as well. 
So if it, uh, so in our case, we passed a minus six union select one comma two comma user comma four comma five comma six hyphen hyphen. That's basically we are commenting the last part. So here it shows that what is the user that is used by this application the laureate uh, underscore new at the rate local host. So similarly, we can we can execute um, um, group underscore contact uh, in the, within the bracket. We can use the table name. So basically, what we are using is till PHP under uh, um, question mark ID if well, minus one. So the, the URL will be the same as it is, whatever the URL you use. Then after that, the actual command starts. The union space select one comma two comma. So we can uh, basically make use of any of the numbers. So we're just um, uh, leaving uh, one and two as it is only in place of three. We are trying to get the what is the table name uh, from the uh, information schema. And so in place of three, we are just giving group concat within the bracket table name and four, five, six, seven as it is from information key schema dot tables where the table schema is nothing but the database. So we're just trying to find the table database name. So, uh, mm, <clears throat> So it gives um what are the tables that is that is present we have um uh, admin um e news email group um email management um, image gallery images listing navigation ib news so we have all these kinds of tables now what we will do <coughs> we'll take any one of the table we'll try to see what are um, the columns that is present in the table so again the same method follows the union select one comma two and in, in place of three and just select group and get column name from information data schema dot columns where table name is equal to whichever table you want to present so in uh, uh, in our case we'll just give admin uh, as we have seen admin as one table you can see here admin as one table so what we will do uh, we'll just give admin so now we can see um what are the values that is displayed here so here it has only username and password now what we will do we will try to retrieve the username and password uh, from this uh, group concat so the query that used to be used is union select one comma two uh, same it follows in place of three just type group concat username comma password from admin so you can directly give the table name as we know the table name so we we'll just give the table name admin then it gives the values um it says um admin uh, and confirm so you basically it gives uh, username and password side by side without uh, in, um, without a space that we need to uh, identify um yeah so in that case admin password is confirm so then that's what we have found out <coughs> so um so, what, uh, so now we have found out like how to um, um, manually perform the steps how to manually so one must get a um, uh, php id um, based links in the in google then manually try to exploit um, um, um by selecting uh, by inputting a quotation mark, a colon so um, a single quote so if, uh, if you get an error so it means that the website is vulnerable to sql injection then you need to find out manually how many uh, columns are present then uh, once you find out then you need to use the union select to um, to find out the version then you find out the database or who is the user then trying to fight to find out what are tables available then you can find out the list um now we will try to check uh, how this can be done using um um sql map command in the server so sql map is a tool that is supported by uh, even linux or call any, any other type of linux you just have to download the package and uh, then you can um, yeah, so you don't have to do be uh, doing any of these uh, manual methods so what you have to do um, you have to find out the proper uh, url that you feel that is vulnerable to sql injection then what you need to do in the kali machine just type um, once the sql map command is installed uh, the package is installed just type sql map space iphone u u for url then place the url um and then space at the end space uh, type iphone iphone dbs so the base basically list out what are the database that's available so this will leak uh, leak out the target sql server database names uh, then we have to retrieve the table names from the database with the given command below so uh, here we can see uh, we have the information schema and uh, uh, fatatri uh, underscore fatatri uh, underscore cms databases so now we have this uh, fatatri database now we will try to find out what are the tables that is available so the command that we need to use is sql map space hyphen u uh, then inside this we need to place the url then we need to type iphone d space database in, in, in the name of database section in this syntax you need to give the actual database name and space hyphen hyphen tables so we are trying to get the tables within this database now uh, 
this is the command so as you were saying the sql map iphone u then url and then iphone d the database name for tree database then iphone iphone tables so it, it lists out the tables that is present in the uh, database so we can see they have so many tables in that um we'll we can take um the one which is interesting which is cm same as user profile now what we need to do we need to find out the data in that table so uh, the command that you use is the sql map space iphone u um HTTP uh, whatever the URL is and then the database name iPhone T the which table you want now what we need to do iPhone iPhone columns so we need to find out what are the columns that is available in the database in the in that uh, table so uh, this will in uh, finally gives um, what is the column and what's the type uh, the email username group ID password status and the, what's the role so it, it basically showed all the uh, the entries now we can uh, dump all the data that is present in this table we can take only particular columns or we can take all the uh, column data so what we need to do we just have to type uh, iphone iphone dump at the end of this command so the sql map iphone u for username and the entire url uh, um, till the php id uh, entry and then what's the database name iphone d space database name then iphone t space table name then iphone c space uh, columns so here we can uh, so what we are doing is we are selecting all the columns that is required um then at the last space iphone iphone dump then it will uh, it will dump all the data that is present so we can see um, we have successfully done the sql injection um, in retrieving the user data so similarly we can follow uh, uh, this is this one way like uh, retrieving the data we can um, uh, if you are uh, good at sql injection then we can perform like update or deletion of the data as well so that can be done uh, uh, using this method so this is uh, this is with respect to sql injection and and once again uh, the standard disclaimer this is only uh, for educational purpose and not to just randomly go and uh, hack into the every website that is present and if you are an application owner or a developer and if you feel that uh, application is not up to the mark uh, when it comes to the security standards then you can uh, perform uh, an injection with your application but um, no then 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 try to uh, find out uh, the vulnerabilities that is present in your application so this is with respect to sql injection practicals um, so we'll be sharing uh, the test links uh, only for testing purpose uh, that is present uh, um, uh, that is provided by Altero Mutual, uh, so that that can be used to perform this uh, injection attacks. So one can follow this uh, manual as well as the um, the Linux based uh, procedure to uh, perform the SQL injection. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe.